share class in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a cigar box guitar with a uh, electric pickup so you can plug it to an amp um, and bushings for your tuning pegs and I'm going to teach you all the measurements for the fret scale and then show you all the notes to play on the fret scale and then when you're done it's going to sound something like this. a cigar box guitar to go to Glenn Watts YouTube station and he'll give you a very simple uh, basic description on how to build a cigar box guitar um, and there's a lot of how-to videos out there to play them by Shane Spiel, Justin Johnson and Glenn Watt and all your uh, tuning pegs, strings, your pickup, you can get all that from CB Giddy Crafter Supply, and uh, we'll get started right now. So you will need a slide to play this. So what I do is I get a 32 inch piece of red oak 1x2, which in reality, if you go to the hardware store and you want to buy one of these um, and you're, you're actually measuring it with the ruler it's actually 0.75 by 1.5 inches 0.75 here 1.5 here so in reality you're just a 1 by 2 is actually a 0.75 by 1.5 and I get 32 inches because in the end I drill a hole in the headstock to hang it on the wall and that's why I get 32 inches. You can get them uh, different lengths but I build them at I build them at 32 so before you start you might want to get yourself a sanding block and just kind of sand it down a little bit to get any loose splinters so you don't get a splinter while you're working with it. To start you want to make a measurement at the 0.5 mark and then the inch mark. 0.5 is half of an inch. And then there's an inch, then you want to just you want to draw a line across those. This is where your strings will go at the 0.5 mark, and this is where your and one of your uh, endings for your cigar box. Your cigar box is probably going to be like take up this much space. So here's your tail and where you got your your 0.5 or half an inch mark from the tail and then your one inch mark from the tail. Now for the string holes you're going to want to come in a quarter inch, three fourths of an inch or 0.75 of an inch. Then you're going to want to come in on this side a quarter of an inch. So your strings are going to go 0.25 of an inch or one fourth of an inch, 0.75 of an inch, which is three fourths of an inch, and from this side, 
0.25 of an inch, which is one fourth of an inch. Okay, so here, here's your tail end, your half inch mark, and your inch mark. Now what you want to do is you want to take the cigar box you're using. I always use the wood cigar boxes with these little metal latches on them because I like you don't have to use nails or glue to get them on there. You just kind of snap it together and plus the uh, wood creates a great tone for the guitar. So what you want to do is you put your cigar box, you line it up with your one inch mark on your your neck here. Then you create a mark here where your end of your cigar box is going to go. So then I have the whole width of your cigar box guitar body. So again, Put your, line your cigar box guitar lid up with at the one inch mark and then create a mark on the other side. Next you want to measure your lid. So this one is about This is a thick lid, so it's one fourth of an inch, one fourth of an inch thick. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make a mark that comes down one fourth of an inch on that side. And on this side. Then we're going to come in half an inch. This is where your cigar box guitar lid will rest. We'll be on this half inch here. You want to do a half inch on both sides. And then you're going to create, you're going to come down about one sixteenth of an inch on both sides. That's what's going to create the sound. This area is the area you are going to cut out of the neck to put your cigar box guitar. Then you're going to flip it over on the other side, do the same thing. You can go down a fourth inch on this side. Fourth inch on this side. You're gonna come down and you're gonna come in a half inch. You come in a half inch on this side. You come down. Sixteenth of an inch on both sides. You gotta connect that sixteenth of an inch. It's okay if you don't get the measurements. Um, like right on the hair because there's going to be a lot of sanding in the process where you're going to have to tweak it so the lid can get on in that uh, 
the lid can get in between these two pieces here. This area here where the sixteenth of the inch goes is where your sound is created. And this here is where your cigar box lid will rest on these half inch parts right here. So this is what we're going to cut out. Next you want to measure from the tail end Twenty-five and five eighths, and twenty-six and a quarter. Now this is where your bolt is going to go for your strings, and this is where your Headstock is going to be started right here. It's right here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a ruler and get some straight lines on this. where you're going to drill a hole to hang it on the wall. Then you want to measure down about three-eighths of an inch. This will be your head stock cut. Then you're going to want to cut, mark this horizontally out because you're going to cut, end up cutting all this out right here for the headstock is what you're cutting out here then you want to go ahead and do that on the other side the same measurement 3 8 down deep into the wood That's, this is what we're going to end up cutting out for our headstock. So it looks kind of like something like this, but deeper. I messed up on this one and made it too thin. So this one's going to be nice and thick on this one. Okay, everybody. So here's the moment of truth. When we remove all this out. So we can put our fit it the lid here <clears throat> onto our cigar box guitar neck. So first things first, we need two of these. Sometimes it's good to use another piece of wood. Just so you don't know, make an indentation on your neck. I've done it with and without it, so I mean, it's up to you. As you can see, we have the neck clamped down, and then we're going to start sawing. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom in on the neck here, or the uh, where the cigar box guitar, the tailpiece, <coughs> where we're going to saw out the 
what the part where the uh, cigar box guitar lid is and what we're going to do is make a series of little slits throughout the wood and then after that we're going to chip it away with a screwdriver so let's get started with cutting Let my mind go to the stars Try to figure out the things we do That make us who we are Sitting by the river Okay, so now we're going to knock all these little chips off of this using a hammer using a hammer and a screwdriver you might want to wear safety glasses for this part have this old file. The goal is to fit the lid on there like this, you know, flat, flush with this two by one. about flush. I'm going to move the camera to show you how flush you want it. So here's the neck and here's the lid and as you can see it fits in there pretty snug and you got almost no, you got a, it comes up just a little bit but we're not going to worry about that. Which I have my fingers with the bolt the strings are going to come over it and go right into here. So the bolt, you know, is going to rest right here. We're just going to do a little, like, 1 16th cut there for that. But we're going to have to, we're going to cut this out. So let's get to it. just chip it away as I go down because my saw I'm using a hacksaw but if you have a better saw that works something like this feel free to use it whatever works for you some people have electric saws but this is how I do it because I like that this uh, hacksaw cuts, cuts pretty well I'm going to sand this all down and just even it out. Then 
I'll take my sanding block and just kind of do some fineness and end it on it. This is where I'm going to put the hole to hang it on the wall. So, this is where we're going to put the screw that's going to act, it's going to hold our strings. So, I'll show you how to do that right now. Basically, you're doing the same thing you did for your for your body for the cigar box guitar. You're just cutting a couple little slits here. Then you're gonna knock them out with the hammer and you drive. kind of just eyeball this part. You don't need to go too deep or too wide. Just enough to just enough for the screw to rest like a cradle right in there so it won't move. Now anchor it down. So basically you just Knock it out like you did with the to put our measurements in for our tuners as you can see these are what the tuners from CB Giddy Crafter Supply looks like um, this is the two right and one left um, combination here so which uh, in other words, would mean two top and one bottom. You always want your gears facing the tail end of the cigar box guitar. So when we install them, they're going to go in on like that. Also, they come with bushings, which I'm also going to show you how to install basically this is the button that goes on the top and the tuner goes right through there like that on the wood measure in three eighths of an inch on each side of the headstock Two little lines to start off there with. Then we're going to connect them. tuner measurements for the top ones 0.75 which is three-fourths of an inch for the first one and then for the second one it's going to be 2.25 which is two and a quarter of an inch for the second one as you can see I put the dots where you're supposed to drill and for the bottom one it is 1.5 inches which is an inch and a half and that is what 
where your tuners are going to go. And poke a, a screwdriver where you mark these hold, these dots to help the drill not slip when you're drilling. To put the screws in that are going to guide your strings to your tuners, you put the same measurements that you put on your tail end up here on this spot, which is 0.25 which is one fourth of an inch there. Go to the other side. You want a 0.25 mark. And then the middle, which is one fourth of an inch. And in the middle, you want a 0.75 mark, which is three fourths of an inch. So. That's pretty much where your screws are going to go that are going to help guide them to your tuners. Now you just want to put a line down each one of these dots. Okay, so now we're going to install the tuners. I placed this piece of wood here on my workbench because I don't want to drill any holes into the bench. So we're going to clamp it down on top of this piece of wood to make sure we don't drill any holes in the old work table there. Alright, as you can see here, I got my neck all clamped in. I use little pieces of wood so I don't put marks or indentation in the neck. And I have my piece of scrap wood underneath of it so I don't drill into my table. The screws that are going to guide your strings, you're going to want to make sure they're flat underneath underneath here because your string, it's going to like hold your string down. So basically, these lines are where, are your strings pretty much. So we're going to put it 1 16th of an inch to the right of your string. So I'm just gonna make a little mark right there. So that's where your first bolt's gonna go. And then for for this string you're gonna want to have it come this way and go around your tuning bolt that way. So you're gonna want to put it one sixteenth of an inch to the left of this mark. And for this tuning peg, you're going to want to have the string come around the outside like this and come around the tuning peg from the inside. So you're going to want to put it 1 16th of an inch on the left side. So that's how your your those screw marks should be measured. So this one's going to go here, and then one's going to go here, and then one's going to go there. So when you're drilling the tuning peg holes, you want to get a one fourth inch drill bit. Kind of handy to have a set like this that tells you exactly what the measurements for the drill bits are because. That's something you kind of want to get precise with a project like this because if not you're just going to have to if you don't get it precise you're going to have to start all over again. So we're going to uh, drill our tuning peg holes here with a 1 4th inch drill bit. are your tuning peg holes. Now you can get away with just having tuning peg holes um, you know for your tuners. You don't really have to put the bushings on to make it work. The bushings are optional. This part here is optional for where you're going to put a, a hole for the hanger uh, I like because I like to hang them on my wall 
so I, I put the hole there, but if not, you can just cut that whole piece off and not even use it. If you don't want your wall hanger piece on there, then you want to cut it to 29.5 inches to have the proper scale length on your fretboard and everything. But while we're sitting here drilling holes, we're going to go ahead and drill this wall hanger hole too. But just remember that is an option. I'm going to go ahead and use a 5 8 drill bit. Now for the bushings it's tricky because you don't want to drill the um, this size all the way through the neck. You just want to go down about as deep as how far the bushing goes. For this uh, set of tuners and bushings you want to use a 5 16th inch drill bit which it this does come with directions that explains that okay before you start drilling you want to get rid of these pencil lines on your headstock sand them away or you can just use your eraser on your pencil okay you want to go about as deep as the bushing to get it in the hole and i use the 5 16th inch drill bit drill bit for this uh hole so, if they fit into the hole. So that one fits right down in there. You want to get a rubber mallet so that you don't mess up your bushings. You can use a regular hammer, but it might scratch them a little bit. Maybe bend them a little bit. And there's your, your bushings installed and your wall hanger hole installed. Okay, now we're going to install the screws where your strings that are going to guide your strings to your tuners. This is a 1 8 inch drill bit. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to drill where those X's are that we marked. I'm going to go ahead and give myself little guide marks here. Probably about a quarter inch down into the wood. Before you screw in the screws, you want to erase all the pencil marks and then maybe run the sanding block over it a little bit then you just you screw your screws in you don't want to put it right up against the wood because you want to make sure your string can get around the screw and go up onto the tuning peg and there you have your guiding screws to guide your strings right up onto your tuning pegs. Okay, now to install the tuning pegs. Now remember, if you ever, you know, order a set of these, it always comes with directions. Always read the directions first because people update products, products change, uh, measurements change on the, um, products and you have to keep up to date I mean you could watch this video all day but it's not gonna ch if if I say one thing is one way one time the next time they make it it could be a different measurement so always read your directions but so for today when we put these on you want the gears these little brass gears to be facing the body okay so you just line them up so that they're, you know, parallel with the um, headstock there. So you don't want them, you know, f hanging off like that. You want them coming straight out, like straight out like a tuner. So your next step is you're going to mark them with your pencil. You're going to mark the where you want to screw them in at. This will be where you will drill your little guide holes for your tuners. Okay, time to drill the holes for the 
tuners. You don't want to drill through the headstock, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Real small bit, drill bit. Okay, moment of truth. Put the tuners to install your tuners into your headstock. Phillips head to install the. There you go. Looks pretty good on this side. Alright, for the tail end where you're going to put your strings at down here, I learned um, from a gentleman in Canada from the Cigar Box Nation website that um, pop rivets are actually very good to install so that your string isn't cutting through your wood uh, eventually so we're gonna install some pop rivets you don't have to it's optional when installing pop rivets we're gonna use the 1 8 inch drill bit basically we're just gonna drill right on through this tail piece and then pop the pop rivets in pretty much so here we go. Before we install the pop rivets, we're going to get rid of the line, the pencil line. So basically, you just, the pop rivet comes on this nail. And you just get it off of it like that. Drilled. You can get them in silver. All they have was white when I um, purchased mine. And you just bang them in like that. You flip it over, hit it with the sander, and install these. Sometimes if the hole's not giving you enough room to get them in, you just got uh, Hit it with the drill one more time, like magic. And that's so that your strings aren't cutting through your wood. So now we have our neck going here. We carved out the spot. We got our pop rivets in for our strings. And we have our tuners installed and our bolts for the strings. Now we're going to work on the box itself and get it prepared to put onto the neck. Okay, so starting with the um, the box here, you want to find your center point on both ends. The center point is six centimeters. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit and Take my pencil and just go ahead and mark a mark right there on the six centimeter mark. And that is my center point. And you want to do that for both sides. After you find your center point, you're going to want to measure from your center point 
about three-fourths of an inch on both sides of your center point. So as you can see, you're measuring three-fourths of an inch out on each side. And then, after you measure those marks, you want to measure from the top three-fourths of an inch on both sides. Then you want to connect this line Connect these two. And connect this one. This will give you the recess to set your neck of your cigar box guitar. And you do the same to both sides because you're going to be creating two holes. When you're cutting out this area here, you want to make sure that you don't go too big. You want to cut to the inside of the line because you'd rather have it be snug than too loose. So that's how we're going to start it, sawing it. So, sometimes I just snap this piece off here. Oh, there we go. It worked this time. So, we'll just try to snap on both sides. And the rest you just sand down with your sanding piece. Alright. I'm sure there's easier ways of doing it, but that's how I do it. What I do is I just try to take the neck and I just try to see if it's going to fit in there. So I see it needs to be a little bit wider. There we go. So that, that one works for that side and then we'll go ahead and do the other side. And that's how you get the body on. Pretty sturdy. So now I'm going to drill some sound holes in the top of my lid so that when I want to play it acoustically, it ejects sound out of the box. And um, for the first hole, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do a small hole. And then I'm going to get gradually bigger as I go. You can do whatever you want. Went to the herb lady, told her I had some pain. She threw some together, sent me on my way. I put on some water, and it got hot. I put in a little, I didn't 
it. Some sound holes in your cigar box guitar. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install a basic piezo and jack CBG pickup harness. This is what it looks like. You're going to need a 3 8 drill bit for this one. And basically, um, I'm just going to put the jack right here in the corner. And then I'm going to glue the disc. I'm going to hot glue the disc here where I kind of drew a light circle. That should do it. Here's your hole where your harness is going to go. You grab your pickup and you unscrew this part here. Just put it right through the hole that you drilled. Alright, so there it is. So here is the jack. And you just grab this nut here and you just screw it on there. Just tighten it on there. For this part you're going to need a hot glue gun and some electricity to hot glue your piezo disc pickup into the lid. Now we're going to hot glue the disc piezo pickup to the cigar box lid. Um, I learned from Glenn Watt to put it around the more bassier strings which would be here. So I kind of just picked this spot right here and um, so we're going to add a little bit of insulation first. And you just wait for the glue to dry. Okay, there you have it. That is how you install your piezo disc pickup. And then you just snap the lid down shut and you're ready to get to marking your frets. I have all the frets marked out on this tape measure here so that I don't have to measure the fret marks individually each time. And I'm going to give you these measurements now. So starting from right here Where your bolt goes, you're gonna, that's where you want your ruler to start. You start your measurements from there, and then I will give you the measurements for your frets on this video. Okay, I'm gonna give you these measurements in millimeters. Your first fret is 33 millimeters, your second one is 64. 93 194 
216 236 256 274 291 308 323 338 399 499 Now that's millimeters if you're going by your millimeter uh, system now we are going to create our frets. I use a T-square just because I, I want it to be, um, you know, straight. Not crooked, but. So we're going to use this to make our fret marks. There you have it. There are your frets. Okay. When I'm marking my frets, I just, you can buy uh, fret supplies from CB Giddy, but I use a Sharpie to mark my frets because I play it with a slide. And um, that's just how I do it. Okay, we marked our frets. Time to get some notes. Okay, to mark my frets, I do uh, I do it a little different. I bought a stamp set from eBay. It was like seven bucks, and um, what I do is I just put an X at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, and 12th fret. Then after I mark those frets, I put a little dot underneath of them. It just sounds the best. So right where that dot is, it's where G's probably gonna sound the best. And where that dot is, is where C's probably gonna sound the best. And where that dot is, is where D's gonna sound the best. Most likely, every guitar you make is different, so. And that's what actually goes on the fretboard. Now, as you can see on this 
CBG that I made, I actually put the, I put the notes on the guitar because then I know what I'm playing. So that's what I'm going to do with this one too. So your second fret is A. Your fourth fret is B. This one is this one in the fifth fret is C. Seventh fret is a D. And the ninth fret is a E. Is a F. And then one up from that, I mean, I mean the twelfth fret is a G. And there you have it. So as you can see here, I just added a little piece of leather rope to, so you're able to hang it on the wall if you want, or you could hang it by the wall hanger hole we drilled earlier. Okay, now we're going to put the strings on it. These are Southbound String Company, um, made for cigar box guitar. I use G, D, G, low G, middle D, and high G. You can get these from CB Giddy Crafter Supplies. I think they're about $4. Great sounding strings though. Okay, so we're going to start with the low G string and you're going to feed it up through your pop rivet. So that it comes out like that. And we're going to bring it on down to the tuning key. You're going to, it's going to come around the outside of this screw and then you're going to wrap it around this tuning peg a couple times from the inside. Feed it through this tuning peg hole. And that's your low G. Next you want to do your D string, which is the second thickest string out of the pack. So you just feed it, feed it through your pop rivet, up through the top. this one you're going to come right through the center and wrap your string around from the inside. And then your last string is going to be your high G string. 
which is the thinnest one that looks like a piece of wire. I guess they all look like wire. You pull it through the top. Bring it across your body. Now this one's going to go to the outside of this screw here. And around this tuning peg from the inside. Okay. Now we're going to slip our bolts in. You just want to put them under your, under your strings and just gently move it into the, the cradle that you made earlier. Strings might move, you just have to replace, put them back in the places they were because they're not tight yet. But when you start tuning them, they'll tighten right up. So that's how you want to do your first bolt on your neck. Then down here for your bridge bolt, you just do the same thing. Usually you want to put that one two and a half inches from the tail so that's about right right there and then start tightening your strings okay now for the finishing touches on the after we get the strings on I just clip off the excess strings here You just need a nice pair of heavy duty wire clippers here. One of the things that I also do is I put a um, guitar strap button on the box of the guitar, but because the, um, the neck is so heavy, you have to actually tie the other part of the guitar strap to this this area here so I only put one <clears throat> one guitar strap button 564 inch um, drill bit I'm just drilling a guide hole real right here before I, so I have a hole so as you can see I drilled a little hole there It's best to do this part before you install your pickup because you might actually hit the pickup when you're screwing your button on. But I forgot to do that, so I'm doing it now. And there's your guitar strap button right there. So here you have it, folks. The done product of this cigar box guitar build.
Okay, now we're done building our cigar box guitar, so now we're going to tune our strings. We're going to tune the top string to G. watching my video and um, you can check my music out at www.darstellabada.com and uh, have a great day.